Hello everybody and welcome on my journey to watch 500 films in one year. The 78th film I watched was Nina Forever, written and directed by Ben and Chris Blaine, which is about Rob, who unsuccessfully attempts suicide after his girlfriend Nina dies in a car crash. As he begins to overcome his grief, he falls in love with a co-worker, Holly, but their relationship is complicated when Nina, unable to find rest in the afterlife, comes back to life to sarcastically torment them whenever they get physical. The thing that struck me first about this movie was its originality. Nina Forever is not your bog-standard horror movie, and I can see cult classic written all over it. There is an almost tangible sexual chemistry between Holly, played by Abigail Hardingham, and Rob, played by the gorgeous Kian Barry. And I love the way there are multiple shots of the two characters' feet, representing boundaries which need to be crossed before their different emotional burdens can be lifted. Sepia and stark tones are used, meaning bloody parts of the action are all the more bloody, and the script is unpredictable and fresh. I don't want to say more, other than the film isn't for everybody, but if you like it, it will leave an indelible imprint for days after you see it. A slightly obsessed thumbs up from me. Please join me for my next review where I'll be talking about Zoolander 2, co-written and directed by Ben Stiller. Thanks for taking the time to listen and I hope to hear from you soon.